Hi Chelsea fans, Chelsea staff there back with another video today, Wednesday the 13th of January. Can't believe it's the 13th already. And in today's video, we're going to focus on more speculation regarding Frank Lampard, about his future, about possible replacements, and this rumour that just keeps going on and on and on, because let's face it, there's nothing concrete to talk about as far as transfers in or out are happening this week. So what else is there to talk about other than Frank Lampard? Talk of a possible advisor role for Abraham Grant, and then the next sort of six games coming up, with five of them in the Premier League, all as potential cup finals. And that's, I think, the way we've got to treat them from now on, moving forward. And hopefully, Frank and his coaching staff and the players can sort of get ourselves back on track. Before I get into the video, do us a favour, drop a like on the video for me, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out. So without further ado, guys, let's get cracking. So let's get into the situation regarding Frank Lampard and the speculation that just seems to be increasing. I mean, let's just say this, based on Chelsea's history, based on managers under Roman Abramovich, if a situation looks like it's, it can't be rectified, Chelsea act straight away, more or less. We've seen managers such as Carlo Ancelotti sat in the tunnel after a, a defeat to Everton last day of the season. We've seen managers be sacked days after a day or so after a poor performance. Frank Lampard's still there. He's going to be given the time and the opportunity to turn things around this season and see things through. That's been made clear to me. That's that's the opinion that I get from just the feel for how everything's going on. Despite the fact there's calls for him to be sacked by members of the, the, the Chelsea fan base worldwide and these ridiculous reporters and reports that keep coming out, there's one here, Football 365. Lampard's days numbered as Chelsea hold talks with five candidates and followed up with team talk saying Chelsea contact two title winning managers in case of Lampard's sack. Now, well, that's a bit of a different tact from team talk. They're saying if he is sacked, in case he is, and I don't think he will be. I mean, this report that's in Football 365, it emanates from Sport Build over in Germany, featured on the Sport Witness website. The website states that Thomas Tuchel, Julian Nagelsmann, Massimiliano Allegri, are the most discussed or the hotly discussed candidates, as well as Brendan Rodgers and Ralph Ragnick, which, I mean, it's a whole host of managers being linked. I mean, last week we were being linked with Ralph Hasenhut, or the Southampton manager, after what he's done in the past year since that heavy defeat against Leicester, the way he's turned things around. The speculation is just continuing over the course of this week because there's nothing else really to talk about. There's been some loan moves and a permanent sign of some youngsters that have gone out, but main news, the main Chelsea first team news and squad news, there's no update with anybody leaving at the moment on loan or on a permanent transfer. There's no update with anybody coming in at the moment. The window's still going to go on until the 1st of Feb. So there's plenty of time. So at the moment, there's nothing else to talk about as far as Chelsea are concerned, other than the poor form and Frank Lampard's future. Another twist that's appeared over the course of this week is Avram Grant, being linked with coming into Chelsea as an advisor to Frank Lampard. Now, I can't understand that, and I'm I'm hoping there's no real substance in that report. I think someone's literally just clutching at straws for a story and grabbed it and has put it out there. I mean, let's just let's just think of it as it's it has substance. It could happen. If you were Frank Lampard, how would you feel about that? Bearing in mind what you've done and achieved so far since you walked in the door beginning the last season. You took over a team with a ban, you've got no Eden Hazard, you've got loan returns coming back for academy players that are put into the first team squad and you're told to try and do your best or, you know, because the, the club had a, tra a change in philosophy. They were going through a transition stage. And so last season, you've then gone and achieved a top four finish, which was outstanding. You then backed heavily by the board this summer. You brought in expensive sign-ins. We've got the pandemic situation. We've had injuries left, right and centre. We've never had the full, full strength Chelsea team playing together. And you're now in a poor run of form and everyone's come down on you. And you're reading all this sort of speculation. And now you're sort of seeing that Avram Grant might come back in as an advisor to assist you. I wouldn't want him. I'm sure Frank Lampard doesn't want him. He was sacked by Roman Abramovich. 
I, I can't see Avram Grant coming back in or Frank being happy about it or willing to entertain the idea. You know, let him get on with it. Let him turn things around and learn as a manager for this difficult period and become a better manager for it and the players together. Learn, you know, they're going through this tough time, come out the other side together. As a group, as a collective, you don't need interference from anybody else. So hopefully the Avram Grant link is absolute rubbish. As I say, I just think the speculation is complete nonsense. I really do. So I'm talking about the next six games for Chelsea and five of them in the Premier League are cup finals. We start with Fulham on Saturday. The game that was pushed back from Friday to Saturday. Make sure you make a note of that. Half five kickoff. There will be live commentary on my channel as normal. That's a big game because it's the West London derby. Fulham have got a lot of pride, so have we. We need a win. Big game. Then we face Leicester, high-flying Leicester this season. And that's on Tuesday next week. And that's a quarter past eight kickoff. A massive, massive game. Leicester are up there. If we've got any hopes of finishing top four, we need to beat Leicester or at least get a good result there. A point wouldn't be so bad. Hopefully we're looking for three. We then follow that up the following Saturday with FA Cup Luton Town at home which is a good draw for us which is good and then back to the Premier League the following Wednesday Wolves at home bearing in mind what happened against Wolves recently where we were one up and they let the game go late on hopefully Chelsea won't make the same mistake by then having played Morecambe, Fulham, Leicester and Luton we should be back in winning contention and winning ways and hopefully we can dispatch Wolves. We then got a big game at home to Burnley. Now, Burnley's not an easy game. We need to fight for every point, as you know. Hopefully we can win that game. Then it's Tottenham away. Midweek. Massive game. Leicester Tottenham coming up with big, big games. Wolves, Burnley and Fulham are games that we're, on paper we should be winning. Hopefully. Need to get the job done. And then after that, you're looking at Sheffield United, Newcastle, Southampton. So Chelsea's got a good run of games, two difficult sort of sticky wickets in Tottenham and in Leicester. If we can get through those, if we can come away with four wins, two draws, it'll be fantastic. Five wins, one draw. If we can just come away with positive outcome in all those games, it will be sensational. The good thing is we've now got Kai Havertz and Timo Werner scored at the weekend and hopefully improve their confidence coming into Fulham this weekend. So let's get behind the players. Let's get behind Frank and let's hope that we can now see the Morecambe game, which on paper with Chelsea playing a strong squad was a surprise. But hopefully now what you can see is that that game has given certain players and individuals a bit of a confidence boost, which we can hope carries forward through to the Premier League. That's it from me, guys. Today, it's Wednesday the 13th of January. Cold. Freezing cold, wet, dreary over here in London. Hopefully, it's not too bad where you guys are. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video in the comment section below. Drop a like on the video for me. Then subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.